Hi guys, Matt from Mass Digital here, and in today's video, we'll take a quick look at Dower's 4G enabled PTZ. The model I've got here with me today is the 49425, so it's a 4 megapixel 25 times zoom. Being a 4G unit, it's ideal for those situations where you don't have a hardline connection or it's difficult to get some form of internet connectivity to. As long as you've got a 4G signal um, with an appropriate network, drop a SIM card in and you can remotely access live footage and control the unit over that 4G connection. We'll go through a quick unboxing, show you what comes in the box with the unit itself, as well as do a quick setup guide towards the end of this video. But the 49425 is an ideal little unit, all the available brackets and mounts that you may need here at Mass Digital, from your power pets um, to your standard wall mounts, um, all available for the unit. Comes with SMD Plus, as well as your perimeter protection and your face detection. So various different situations you may want to use it in, um, all available and suitable for this unit. Okay, like I said, we'll crack this box open and show you what's inside um, and go through a quick setup guide as well. Okay, so let's get this box open and see what's inside. So, inside the unit, straight away at the top, you've got all your usual little glands, your little uh, Allen key in there, as well as your manuals. Just like most of Dower's PTZs, they come with a short arm bracket in there already. So you've got your short arm unit, um, your wall mount with your water seal and your screws. And then you've then got your PTZ itself with all its relevant connections. So we'll just show you those. So you've got your uh, power, your mains power, or your PoE Ethernet connection. So this is what we will use to log directly in during the setup process directly connected to a laptop. And you've then got all your other connections on here. So like your alarm inputs, outputs, your audio in and out on there as well. Um, so your alarm outs and ins and your grounds on that one. You've then got your audio outs, audio in and your ground on that connection. Your Ethernet, your mains power, and then obviously your ground on there as well. So I'll just slide this out. So as we can see, it's a lovely little size unit, not too big, not too small. I say it's a four megapixel, 25 times zoom unit. Okay, uh, so it comes with your wall bracket in the box itself, but if you do need any other additional mounting for the unit itself, um, all available um, from Mass Digital. So any sort of wall mount or back box that you may need, or if you want a specialist mount like a parapet, you can use those as well with these. It'll just fit straight onto the collar. So after your standard initialization process using the IP config tool, um, you can log into the default IP address. Um, so by default with all DAWA stuff, that's 1.108. And we'll just quickly log into the PTZ here. Once logged in, we can see in the top right, we have the 4G text, which currently has a question mark. So we've not got the right settings. It's not connected to 4G. So if we go into the settings, we can see that it has all the same functions as a standard PTZ, despite being 4G enabled. So you can set up presets. You can also add those presets to tours. You can adjust the scan speeds, patterns, total pan speed, your idle motion. So you can set them to be a, a certain preset or a tour. What to do when it powers up. You can set up up to four different time tasks as normal. Do usual resets and default it if you need to. Under your events, You've got your usual smart plan options. So this model has your face detection and your video metadata as your global smart plan. You can then set uh, a different plan for your preset. So we could set a deep IVS for preset one, for example. If we then go into that deep IVS, we can then select a preset one. And if we add a rule, we can create either a tripwire, an intrusion box, um, abandoned objects are also available there as well. We can draw a quick box on screen. We can change that to be a cross or a pier, enter and exit. We don't need a vehicle because we're inside on this demo. We can then also set it to send emails. You can do certain PTZ activations. So you have the options um, available there to do different tours or different actions based off of a trigger. Set up message links as well, or do save snapshots and your recording options there. 
In terms of the recording, um, you're going to your destination and then under local, this is where I give you your SD card. Now currently I don't have one in this one for the demo purpose, um, but this is where it show you your status and your total used capacity um, of your storage media. Your schedule you can set for your recording and your snapshot. You can also set up a holiday schedule if you really wanted to. And under your system options, you've got all your usual options, including your upgrade menus for firmwares. But being a 4G unit, all the fun is under the network settings. So your TCP IP, this is your local network settings. So whilst we're hardwired into the unit over uh, Ethernet. And at the moment, because we're doing that, we're directly connected with the laptop, our status for the access platform is offline. So we need to set up the 4G settings. So for this demo, I'm using an EE SIM. Different networks will have different settings and you'll need to confirm those with the carrier provided. Um, but on EE, the APN is everywhere. The authorization mode will need to be PAP. The dial-up number, so this is star 99 hash. The username is EE secure, password of secure. Now your interval is how long the 4G connection is active for if it's outside of the time range. So if you set this to zero, it will always be active. If you set it to 60 seconds, it will be available for a minute. But you can set up a time range. So if you want it to always be active across all days, you could set your periods up there. Once you've got that all set up, you can then hit save. Don't forget to click enable, which I've just realized I've forgotten. So we'll just take that and resave. And then I'll straight away, it'll pick up uh, the SIM card. Now at the moment it'll say unknown. Give this a couple of seconds. You can either click refresh or you can go off and back onto the menu. And it should then say SIM state of general. It'll give you an IP address. It'll also then show you your signal strength. So your signal strength is currently at 55%. So if we're indoors, um, obviously outdoors, you usually have a better signal than that. If we now go to the access platform, we can see that that is enabled. We'll just give this a couple of seconds. We'll just disable it and re-enable it. And this will then show as online. Once this does show as online, um, you'll be able to add this to your DMS app um, or any other monitoring uh, means of monitoring the unit itself um, over that 4G connection. Now, depending on the network speed um, and the connection that you've got, it might take a couple of minutes for it to show online, but we'll just refresh this a couple of times and eventually this should show as online. There we go. So the status is now showing as online. So we'll now be able to add this to our DMS app. So from the DMS app, we tap the plus, scan the QR code, select it as a camera, and then give the device a name. So 4G PTZ for this demo. Log in with the username and the password that you activated the camera with. And then you'll then be able to see the video feed over that 4G connection um, from the DMS app. You can do all the usual controls so we can move the camera around itself. Now bear in mind, obviously this is a 4G connection. So depending on the signal strength and the signal speed at the time, you might have a bit of a delay between your actions. You can easily call presets. So the preset that we set earlier, we can quickly call that nice and simply, or you could do tours and things like that. Um, if we want to set up notifications, we just select the device details, go to notifications, enable, select the type of a notification we want. So we've got an intrusion set. So we're going to intrusion alarm. We can select that and hit save. Now, if I was to walk in front of the camera itself, so if I just go onto the live view, if I now walk into that box, You can see me waving, and then from here, I should now get a notification come through um, on the app itself to say that I've entered that box. I should actually get two, which looks like I have. One for entering and one for exiting. Now, obviously, I don't have an SD card currently in the unit, um, but if I did, this would show you the clipped video, video footage um, of me using that intruder alone.